Alrighty. My name is Anthony Barocas. I am the chief gearhead of Frisco Studios, and I am coming to you live on YouTube. This is, I'm just giving this a try today, YouTube streaming directly from my desk. Let's go right to the uh, medium shot, and then we can go to the wide shot. I am testing three different cameras right in front of me. Why three different cameras? Well, the reason I'm doing three different cameras is because uh, sometimes you can't zoom in from across the room with an iPhone. So you may need to put a camera right in front of the person who's at a podium or at a table. And here are some great ways to do that. Um, I have three cameras, iPhone SEs and iPhone 5s, all similar form size. And I have a 2X a 0.45 and a normal or no lens on it. So this is the 0.45, that's this one right here. And then if you wanted to get a little closer, you could go to the normal lens, which is this one right here. So this is what an iPhone 5 or 5S looks like with the normal lens on the back camera. And then if you want to make a really important point, you could get a little closer with the 2X. This is a 2X lens on an iPhone SE using uh, a case that I have that doesn't take up very much room. It actually looks a lot like this. This is the case and it mounts a lens right on the front here. So it's a very handy little tool. I will get more into those cases uh, next time. Um, but so this is a great way to show off how I am going to look away for a moment so that I can set up a dashboard in one, two and three here and take that live there we go so now you can see all three views from all three cameras at the same time i'm uh, not wearing a mic i'm just using the ipad which is right in front of me on the table and the key here is um getting the shots you want from on the podium right in front of whomever might be talking and whether you can do it with a wide angle, whether you can do it with a telephoto, or whether you can do it with a no lens, normal lens, normal lens or no lens. So this is a quick view of that. What does this really look like to uh, the naked eye? Let us go to the fourth camera I have here, and you can see the two cameras with, uh, this is the 2X, this is the wide angle and this is the normal or no lens and they're all set up right here in front of my uh, keyboard which is in front of my tablet so i can see them all right here so let's do this again uh, wide medium telephoto and take that live so now you can see um, again each of those views and again like i said they are literally arm's length right in front of me and this is how I, I don't have a 3x actually i do have a 3x um it's an xo lens but it's only for iphone 6 because xo doesn't make a case for iphone 5 5s or se they feel there's not enough need but they'll make one for a six so there you go anyway the other thing i'm doing here is i have one two three four phones i have four phones all going sending data right now. And admittedly, we're not sending the, the video very far. Let's just go to one camera, let's pick one. Admittedly, they're not, what is this, normal? Yeah. Um, they're not going very far, excuse me. But I have four wireless phones, all streaming data to an access point. And I wanted to show you this access point here. Zoop. This is my access point. This is something that I was using in a previous stream on the IEBACOM Facebook page. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I, this is battery operated via external USB, which makes it very handy if you have a big battery brick. But in this case, I'm just using a tiny little battery brick. Uh, one amp will power this. And then it's got two external antennas for taking in the streams from all of your phones. 
and then this red cable goes around and into the Ethernet adapter to the USB adapter into my iPad. So all four phone data streams come in over a wire and then the program stream comes back out, comes in the LAN port, which is the red one, and out the WAN port. Now, when I was doing my live stream at the Frisco Arts Association, I was also using this access point. And the nice thing about this access point is that I was also able to jack in a phone. So I took uh, the USB cable out of a phone and I plugged it into, and I did tethering on the phone, plugged it into the USB jack on the access point, and that was my upload to the internet for uh, all of the streams that night. And it worked fairly reliably. I did try to leverage uh, Speedify and also hook into the Wi-Fi that was at the facility, but it was a public event, so I don't know what kind of data rate I was getting because the interface on Speedify was not really detailed in saying you've got, you know, three megabits on Wi-Fi and you've got five megabits on uh, cellular and this is how it's fluctuating. You know, that I was looking for that and I did not get that from the Speedify interface. Uh, that was my first time really leveraging it, so I'm not going to really come down on Speedify. I need to look into it a little bit more, maybe, you know, tap something and open something up and then I can get more detailed data, which is what I was looking for to make sure that I was up and running. However, that said, that's just look and feel. The actual service, my data went through Speedify and my streams all were uploaded fine. So functionally, I was fine. It was just uh, operationally, I wanted to have more confidence in my tools via feedback, just like the new version of uh, Switcher Studio, which I am using, and it gives me a live plus record and says I've been on for seven minutes and 10 seconds. And we'll check that against the YouTube stream to see how much they dis the discrepancy is. Anyway, um, once again, my name, oh, wait, I always do this wrong. There we go. There we go. My name is Anthony Barocas. I'm the chief gearhead for Frisco Studios, live streaming, multi-camera, live production in Frisco. Uh, this is just a quick little non-studio shoot. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yay. Um, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, whichever you want to celebrate. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at different lens options for your iPhones an access point solution which i have found to be quite handy i may get a second one and then add a small little hub as well if i can find a usb powered ethernet hub and then that way i can have access point one and access point two and split my cameras up between them and then have all the data come into my ipad and then lastly uh, talk a little bit about this case which is really cool i will talk more about this next time and in January, I hope to, hold on, I hope to do a video showing off a zoom lens solution for iPhones. And by zoom, I mean parfocal, constant aperture, 15x optical, smooth servo zoom lens for live event coverage. Something that you have not seen on an iPhone. Um, I'm waiting on a partner company to let me use a piece of their hardware to make that happen. I have the lens, I have the phone, I don't have the glue in between. That's relying on them. So anyway, nine minutes, I will say thank you all for watching. You have a good new year and enjoy.